Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And today, let's talk about artists getting ripped off. Now I gotta thank some commenter, I can't remember this person, but I remember them saying that artists are getting ripped off in the context of 10% for a manager and this percent for the record label and this percent for somebody else. Man, everybody wants to cut of the artist. Okay, so let's start here. Of course, there are some bad deals that get signed. Matter of fact, we can just allude to the interview that I did with Justin Henny Henderson. And that's all they're about is making sure that, oh, if that's hot, they might not think about things for the long haul right now they're saying okay that might work for the next year we can make sure that we can give them enough money and we can get a return off of that and that's how much we're investing into we're investing into you for a year Perfect. you know right right but they might sign you for eight years <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact based on a boogie's recent breakfast club interview he might have caught a similar l i mean dude slick sounded like he had like a jail sentence or something you know at least i'm still young I, I probably won't even be 30 yet by the time i get out this deal just six more projects and i'll be straight dude sounded kind of hopeless but best wishes to him dude super talented so i'm sure he'll find somebody in this corner to actually figure that situation out but then we know kodak black situation in terms of he was dealing with Master P. Master B was kind of supposed to be a consultant and then they got to a weird space where Master P wanted to see the documents and they wouldn't show the documents which alludes to some kind of weird funny business being done. I don't know that issue but I'm sure the people who supposedly may have screwed them over are starting to tighten stuff up because now you know the microscope is on them. But back to that person's comment about a lot of people wanting to cut up the artist because a lot of people aren't even at the A Boogie Kodak level yet. I get it. I get it. I get it. It feels like everybody wants some money from you but you got to switch the perspective of how you think about this situation. These people are basically working for you right and if you're not paying them up front why would they not get a percentage of what you're doing? Because I've talked to people recently who said things like they have managers, but they're paying their managers a monthly fee or things like that. In my mind, that is not a manager, especially for an up and coming artist. You want your manager to have a percentage because you want them to be completely aligned with you being successful. You don't want your manager to get paid regardless or not if you're successful, really? Do you not? No, you don't. So when you think about yourself as an artist, you have to think about what you're building as a whole is a company and you are a part of that company it's a company driven by you and that's what people are invested in right your record label might be like the marketing arm of your company your ceo would basically kind of be your manager in a lot of ways and situations you want the core pieces to be paid when the company is being successful you might have a creative director you might have some graphic designer and people like that who might choose not to be invested it in that way and have a percentage and you probably don't want to give them a percentage that makes sense but certain people it pays to actually pay them by a percentage because it aligns them with your success now on the other hand we do have artists being ripped off in the senses of hey the deals that they sign that sucks and of course that's a whole nother can of worms the best thing you can do in that situation is one give yourself leverage but two actually know what you're doing when you sign the deal and what you're actually signing up for if you don't really know those kind of documents well you got to find somebody with experience who's on your team to actually read up on that for you to make sure you're making the best deal possible. So remember, you're basically a company as an artist and the people that you're working with are basically employees, but if they're really core to your infrastructure, a lot of them will kind of be like co-founders. And my question is, how are they gonna eat? That's it, you know what to do. Go hit that subscribe button.